The following portion of Daytime Blue Ridge is sponsored by... Winter is here, which means it's time to break out those snow shovels. But before you brave the cold, there are exercises you should be doing to prevent injury. Joanna and Anthony Ferguson join me to talk about some moves to strengthen our muscles and prevent falls. Thanks so much for coming in. Hi. So is, are there, are injuries common when you're shoveling snow? Um, yes, actually, okay. because it's a exercise or something, an activity you don't do all the time. Yeah. And a lot of people, you know, go out and have to do it, um, when they either don't re exercise regularly or they're right. just not used to that motion and it's easy to get injured when when you're doing something new like that and okay. challenging so what muscles are we using when we are shoveling snow you're using like the, the larger muscle groups of course you know like your your legs should be involved and yeah. many times the injuries come from people not using their not legs using it's their the legs. leaning over and of course you're going to be using your arms your shoulders and you know anytime i've shoveled snow i'm like exhausted like head to toe so I feel like it's almost a total body right you know movement yeah and I mean if you're exhausted and you work yes. out all the time then other people who might not work out yes they need these tips that you right. have so what sort of tips that you do you have for people to make sure they're not getting injured or falling okay well my number one tip is I make Anthony do all the shoveling <laughs> in our house so. call Anthony that's worked out really well so. <laughs> but seriously um, you want to make sure that you you know you're kind of warmed up before you just kind of go out and go right just like a it. workout. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, a little bit of stretching, a little bit of light activity. Um, and then, you know, parcel it out into intervals, take breaks. Don't try to, you know, do hours of shoveling, you okay. know, all at one time, things like that. So what else do you have? Um, yeah. I, I think that's it. And, you know, when you're actually, uh, like the shoveling, I, I actually watch hours of YouTube videos and I have a few You're tips. preparing okay. for this. <laughs> but, you know, like. So the, is there a certain way you should like be holding it? This is it? bad, of course. And okay, people, don't they, do that. you know, the shovel, like the big thing is I need to get. And use my legs okay and i don't want to shovel more than like i don't i yeah i can't get the whole driveway in one thing so i might right. have to pick up based on my ability of how much i can lift okay also like Start crazy small. throwing things like really twisting violent kind of yeah. big moves are bad so i might just want to move slowly and take breaks when needed okay um, the exercises that we kind of chose for today basics yeah are going to be like a, a plank a, a bridge a which plank. is kind of the opposite okay i'm going to show a squat and even like a swing with like a weight or a kettlebell so so let's show the swing okay. I, we know what a plank is right so it's kind of you know similar to what you know the the same motion you know i'm going to be swinging up okay and so i could use a dumbbell you know really this is a body squat and i'm yeah. involving total you know just kind of whole body there okay that could be a dumbbell i mean a, a, a gallon of water is eight pounds um okay so the weight how do you kind of you just you know, you start kinda, small yeah start small and, okay. and you know repetition wise i mean maybe it's uh, i mean that's part of your warm-up for you outside but it's yeah. it's it's you know if you do 10 reps and and you you get a little bit stronger the next time you work out you're trying a little bit more so okay. that's a common thing you see in a lot of workouts and it's it's it can also be as simple as just getting stronger at your squats like okay just you know because do you really squats. need the big muscles to, to shovel. I mean, that's yeah, because you're going to have to get low and it's going to be. And the core is so important. So that's why we included like doing planks, planks bridges, other yeah. core strengthening activities, anything okay. that involves, you know, a twisting motion just to get your back ready for that as well okay. are good. Well, these are yeah. great tips. So if somebody wants to find out more information about Ferguson, come check you guys out to get prepared for shoveling for <laughs> snow. Yeah. How can yeah. they do that? Um, they can go to our website, fergusonfitness.com, or they can find us on Facebook at our Ferguson Fitness Facebook page. Cool. So if you want a recap of these tips or a link to their website, we'll have it on our website. Just go to daytimebluridge.com.